Welcome back, Canaanites. As I know a few of you know, this week was the New York Toy Fair, a press-only event that previews... well, toys. Normally this isn't a topic I would address, but given what was shown, I just... I just can't help myself. So what has me excited? Look no further than the image on your screen. We see a new kind of aircraft, very clearly Forerunner in origin, a Spartan IV, and then this guy. Like the aircraft, he's very clearly a Forerunner origin, but unlike anything we've really seen before. He strongly resembles the Didact, but a bit too small. So what is he? While we don't have many definitive details, we do know one concrete fact. This guy is a Promethean. That's right, a humanoid Promethean. But what is he? Is he some new form of Promethean robot? Is he an actual Forerunner warrior servant? There's plenty of indication that there are other surviving Forerunners in the universe. Only time will tell, though I'm leaning more towards the guy being a new type of Promethean robot. Of course, that begs the question, where did it come from? Well, the entry for the Promethean Knight provides something of an answer. While the current UNSC has only recorded encounters with four specific variations of Promethean Knight, it can be inferred that there might potentially be further variations designed to fill more specialized roles. In short, there could be untold varieties of Prometheans that we have yet to encounter. Much like how Bungie added the drones and brutes to the Covenant in Halo 2 out of the blue, 343 could just as easily add new Promethean variants to the battlefield. Before we talk about the vehicle, I'd like to present my own opinion about this new guy. While I was excited at first, I can't really say that that lasted. Really, it's just another humanoid enemy. More of the same. While the Promethean Knights weren't exactly great, they were visually interesting. This guy, not so much. Now, if they did turn out to be biological Prometheans, that would be another story. Another thought that came to mind while writing the script for this episode was this. What if these new guys are new Prometheans being directly controlled by the recently composed Didact? The armor design is extremely reminiscent of the Didact's combat skin. Maybe he got the idea to make an army of drones in his image. Sort of like Cooler in Return of Cooler. By the way, fuck that movie. Lore-wise, I find it an interesting concept. But of course, there's no evidence of this, so... yeah. Moving on, let's talk about the fancy new vehicle. According to an article from Xbox Wire, the set is called the Promethean Phaeton Gunship. Phaeton, when I looked it up, directed me to the Wikipedia article on Phaeton, the mythical son of the Greek god Helios. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to draw any real connections between the name and the ship, so if you have ideas, I'd love to hear them. Now, a quick disclaimer. These are just Megablocks sets. Their existence does not guarantee anything when it comes to Halo 5's campaign. Much as I would love to see these new Promethean warriors in the vehicle appear, nothing is assured. We've had plenty of instances of Megablocks revealing new canon content without them appearing in games or media. I cite the UNSC Sagebike and Kestrel VTOL as examples, even though the latter is now appearing in Spartan Strike. Anyway, that's the big thing I wanted to talk about. Check out the gallery on Waypoint along with some of the other links I have below. I'm personally not a big Megablocks guy, Lego for life. But there's certainly some stuff to get excited about, including the first possible appearance of Fireteam Rhino, mentioned in the Halo 4 limited edition bonus material, the new Fireteam Taurus, and a flood-infected Cyclops. As I said, I don't want to read too much into things, but that flood-infected Cyclops really got my eye. It's probably nothing, but I can't help but be excited, especially after seeing that flood form on Spirit of Fire. You know what the Spirit of Fire had? Cyclops and Flood. Anyway, that's all for now. Check the links in the description for some awesome pictures from the Toy Fair, such as this one of the Chief and the Arbiter on the Halo PC exclusive M12A1 Rocket Warthog. For now, this has been Halo Cannon, and I'll see you next time. By the way, the Needler got nerfed. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. It means more than I could express in a few minutes of audio. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share it around on whatever social media you see fit, and all that jazz. Thank you so much. Your support is everything. I would not be where I am without you. Thanks.